On today's show, FCA and Google are closing in on a technology deal for self-driving cars. Ford confirms plans to build an EV to take on Tesla and GM. And Cherry Automotive reveals a wild-looking concept car. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for April 29th of 2016. FCA is behind most automakers when it comes to autonomous technology, so it's not surprising to learn that the automaker is nearing a deal with Google. Bloomberg reports that the deal could be announced as early as today and would start with the Chrysler Pacifica. It's a good fit because FCA currently doesn't have the capability to develop its own autonomous technology, and Google isn't interested in building cars. It would rather license its technology. Chinese automaker Cherry revealed a wild-looking concept in Beijing called the FV2030. Like a lot of concepts these days, it incorporates features for autonomous driving. The upper instrument panel slides away from you while the lower IP slides towards you to reveal an onboard computer that features a touchscreen. The accelerator and brake pedal fold flat and the seats are able to slide and mesh together to turn two seats into one. The FV2030 also hints at the company's design direction. While all the features won't make it into production, the head of Cherry Design, James Hope, tells Autoline, quote, you will see elements of this car in future products. And for more about the Beijing Auto Show, you can watch our coverage right now on our website or on our YouTube channel. And we'll be back with more right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles. Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. And by Borg Warner, feel good about driving. We've heard stories of automakers spending hundreds of hours in the wind tunnel trying to scrimp and scrape every last aerodynamic gain out of a vehicle it can. But dent your bumper or add on some extra gizmo and you send that delicate balance way out of whack. And according to a new study, roof racks put such a drag on aerodynamics, they can cut into fuel economy by as much as 25%. And worse, they're largely unused. The study shows that roof racks represent about 1% of U.S. fuel consumption by light-duty vehicles, which translates to about 100 million gallons of gasoline roof racks ate up last year. And it could get much worse. Use of roof racks is forecast to grow 200% by 2040. And you know it's studies like this that make me wonder, how much gas do side view mirrors burn through every year? Yesterday, Ford reported record profits for the first quarter of the year, but the automaker's biggest moneymaker, the F-150, is going to see production halt for a week while Ford fixes an issue at its Kansas City plant. Ford's president, Joe Henricks, tells Bloomberg that it needs to adjust body shop and paint operations, which have prevented the plant from reaching production targets. The company had scheduled to make the repair sometime this fall, but the F-150 makes so much money for Ford that it decided to make the adjustments sooner rather than later. And in other Ford news, the automaker plans to introduce an affordable, long-range EV to compete with Tesla and GM. As we've speculated, it may be called the Model E. CEO Mark Fields told analysts, quote, When you look at some of the competitors and what they've announced, clearly that's something we're developing for. Fields did not give a timetable for the car, but as we've said before, it might be wise to wait. Federal tax credits start to run out for a company once they've sold 200,000 plug-in vehicles, and Tesla and GM have already sold about 100,000 each. So Ford could have a real price advantage if it waits until credits at Tesla and GM are all dried up. And coming up next, after a period of upheaval, a look at why one CEO believes the interior business is about to take off.
There's more car news and industry insight from the AutoLine Network every day. Take a moment to click that subscribe button. You'll never miss another AutoLine episode. The automotive interiors business historically has the lowest margins amongst suppliers. But our special guest on AutoLine this week, Steve Miller, believes that's about to change. In the following clip, the CEO of interior supplier IAC Automotive explains why he's bullish about the business. The automakers want suppliers with global capability. Uh, they make their cars all over the world and they want suppliers who are positioned to have consistent uh, product technology and process technology in making the parts for them, people they can rely on all around and do one-stop shopping, if you will. Secondly, interiors are becoming vastly more important to cars. When I grew up, as you may, before your time, uh, <laughs> maybe not so much, <laughs> t tail fins was what sold cars. Today, cars you know, are basically aerodynamic packages around whatever is the interior configuration of the car. And what's left to please the customer, it is to have an interior uh, experience that is just luxurious and elegant. And I think you're going to see a lot more money spent on interiors uh, going forward uh, to create uh, that uh, sense of elegance. And while at the same time, having suppliers with the technology to take out weight and take out cost while at the same time creating a better uh, looking and feeling interior. So uh, between the globalization, the need for high technology, uh, I think uh, the interiors business is gonna get better. And lastly, there is, the big players have so much investment in interiors, you can't give away this in order to get an order for some other kind of auto part. You've got to make your money here. And I think over time, that will raise the uh, margins in the interiors business. For more of Steve Miller's insight into the auto interiors business, you can watch that entire discussion right now on our website, autoline.tv, or check it out on our YouTube channel. That wraps up today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.